Look, if you had given me a point going into that game against Liverpool, I would have taken it. Any United fan would have snapped your hand off. But I can't help but come away from that performance against Liverpool with a bit of disappointment after what was such a poor equaliser to concede, a lack of concentration in defence, Lallana at the back post sweeping in the equaliser. But it was coming. Manchester United today, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, to his absolute credit, changed the formation. The 4-2-3-1 has not been working with United this season. I've said it a ton of times. And today, we play 5-3-2 with three centre-backs, Wan-Bissaka and Young, as wing-backs and with split strikers. A bit like we did away at Spurs last year, for example, when we had a, four, a sort of diamond formation. And it worked. And today, it worked against Liverpool, who were so sloppy in that first 45 minutes. And United made it count right towards the end with Daniel James, who for me was again a fantastic player who Liverpool clearly targeted with some powerful, if the word you want to use that, but just brute force challenges that sort of took his confidence away physically and took Dan James out of the game. So they worked, but it was a, a bit of a dirty tactic, I think. But Rashford and James had the moment of quality in that first half that United had so much control in that first half, but the final third was lacking. Andreas Pereira, for how good he was, so many of his decisions in that final third in the first 45 minutes were wrong. Just outright wrong decisions. Taking a shot when he should have passed. But I don't want to focus on individual negatives like that because today's game, so much has been said about Solskjaer in or Solskjaer out or whether he's good enough. But today, United went against the team who had won 17 consecutive Premier League games, dating back until March. And today we ended that, but we should have fucking won that game. And as good as our tactics were in that first half, switching the formation, playing on the counter-attack properly, hitting with pace and doing it correctly, the second half, we went inward. We sat deeper, we tried to sit in a, a more disciplined, deeper shape, and we allowed Liverpool to play onto us. The reason that Liverpool couldn't play in that first 45 minutes is because we were pressing the ball so hard that they found it very difficult. And maybe it was because our players still aren't fit enough to do that for the full 90 minutes. But for some reason, tactically, we changed in that second half. And it made for a nervous 45 minutes. Right from the start of the second half, you looked and you thought, I'm not going to enjoy watching this second half. And you didn't. We had limited opportunities. Shots from here, shots from there. Martial coming on, I thought that was the right sub, but it didn't really make a difference because United weren't going forward enough. Solskjaer took the decision to sit on the 1-0 lead, to get his defence to sit deeper and try and protect it. And it would have worked had we not lost concentration. That's how Liverpool scored their equaliser. It wasn't an incredible cross by Robertson. It was a, a semi-skewed cross that just went across the box and Lallana was the only person at the back stick, knocking it into effectively an empty net. United should not have lost concentration there. Concentration, sorry. United should have won that game today. And what a momentum shift that would have been for us. Now, I'm still coming out of that game largely with a positive mindset. And maybe you disagree with me. But I went into that game fearing the worst. I thought we could have got pumped by Liverpool. But not only did we contain them and control them, we outplayed them in that first half. The quality still isn't there. And I'm not sure it ever will be for the season because the team just isn't good enough but at least Dan James with that wonderful cross and Rashford, Rashford again you've got to praise the players Rashford scored that goal he was so much better today Rashford I think coming in off the left is so much more effective than a Rashford who you task with being that centre forward of course he made a difference with that goal but Rashford's so much more dangerous when he's running at a defender because that's when you can't defend against him and playing in this formation, for me, it's the formation which I think is the biggest single positive from today. Fuck the 4-2-3-1. Fuck having two just holding midfielders. It doesn't work for United. It doesn't play to our strengths. It plays to our weaknesses. But today, we played a formation against the best team in the country, which was risky. That first 15 minutes, Young and Wan-Bissaka were so high as fullbacks that Liverpool had space in behind. But we didn't care. We played our game from the start and that first 45 minutes 
It was one of the best that we've played in terms of controlling a match this season. The quality isn't there. We know that. That won't really change. And of course, we didn't score two goals. I'm just... I'm really frustrated that you can't come out of that game just with a completely positive mindset. Largely, I'm positive, but it's frustrating that we lost it towards the end of that game there because that was a moment of poor concentration that United messed up on. And we didn't need to do that. That should have been part of our game plan. That was down to Maguire and down to Lindelof and Young and wan -Bissaka just to stay focused. We lost focus. But it was self-inflicted because we switched tactics and we sat deeper and invited Liverpool on us. And when you invite the best team in the country on you, invariably, they're probably going to score. Overall, any United fan before that game would have taken a point. After the game, it feels like two points dropped. We only had 10 minutes to hold out. But I saw changes from Solskjaer today. I saw tactically an improvement from United and Solskjaer today against the best team in the country, I think. That is a real reason to be positive. We're not coming out of that with a scrappy, horrible draw with no reason to look forward. If today is a reason to look forward, put the 4-2-3-1 behind us. Play with a bit more risk with this 5-3-2. Allow the players to semi-express themselves. Bring Paul Popper back into that when he's not injured. Bring Martial into that team when he's not injured. And you can start to see where United, for the rest of the season, can start going forward. But United against Liverpool. A draw, I'm taking it. We've ended their winning run. We didn't lose. We didn't get humiliated. And for large parts of that game, we were in total control. VAR, say what you want about VAR. I think it's a horrendous, horrendous bit of technology. It's supposed to clear everything up, but it's making controversy in, in different ways. That's not what it's supposed to be doing. But today, a draw. I'm happy with it overall. And the main positive I say, as I said, is that formation switch. Maybe we're going to see something new from United going forward. And I think we can take momentum from that game. Let me know what you think in the comments below.